Hey guys, it's Charles again from TweetTown.com and I want to welcome you to our first video installment of 3D printing tips and tricks. Today I'm going to teach you how to make ABS juice, which is a mixture of acetone and ABS filament that is often used to help ABS prints stick to the printing surface. To do this, all you need are three simple things. You need a ABS proof Nalgene bottle. You can pick these up for about $5 on Amazon. Um, you need a can of pure acetone and not the fingernail polish remover stuff. It has extra oils in it. Just get pure acetone. It costs about six bucks at Walmart. Um, finally, you'll need eight to ten strips um, of your filament. It has to be ABS, obviously. Um, I like to take and just cut a six-inch strip off of my spool. Um, once you get that done, just as simple as opening your Nalgene bottle and dropping your ABS strips in. Um, another cool feature of this is if you have old prints that didn't work, um, that failed during the print or you stopped during the print, you can simply just toss them in and I wouldn't use that much, it's way too much, but just showing you can do that. Um, and then once you get that done, you want to take your acetone and you want to fill your bottle up. Um, don't fill it all the way, just about three quarters and it should be good. Then you just simply put your cap on and hey, let it sit for a couple hours shaking every hour or so and eventually you'll get something like this. This is a very watery mixture. I don't like to go too thick because if you go too thick, you have problems removing prints from the print surface. Um, I'm going to demonstrate now how to do this. All you need is a paper towel, which you fold in the squares. Bring your print surface out. Shake your bottle to make sure everything's mixed up nicely. And just do one little dunk like that and it coats your thing. And simply wipe down the print surface. I like to do a cross and then circles. Um, if you have a surface that has been varnished, like my little table here, if you lay this rag down on it, it will melt the varnish and it will stick and it will ruin your table surface so do this on something you don't really care about I like to until this dries I like to just lay it on top of the bottle like that and set it off to the side I like to store my acetone on the other side of the room away from my printer and only bring it out when necessary thanks for watching and if you have any tips or tricks you would like us to cover leave them in a comment or email them to me at tweaktown